All right, we are up and running. Chad Taylor here. We are live. And this is a video I've been wanting to put out for quite a while now. It's uh, I, probably well over a year I've thought of this analogy about creation that I wanted to share with you guys. So this video is going to be about creation. And this is kind of a really simple way I think about creation and the way I view a lot of things. Now, I'm a car guy. I My dad was a mechanic growing up. I heard nothing but car stories, you know, while I was a little kid. And so when I grew up, Lo and behold, I'm into cars also, so it's pretty amazing. But so this is kind of a car analogy. Now, if I were to ask you guys, what is a really, really nice car? Well, most people would probably say a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. And yes, they're both very nice brands and they both make very nice cars. So in my mind, there are there's two cars that really stand out uh, to me that are really nice cars. And one of them most people won't be able to pronounce, but this other one is called a Pagani. Uh, so this is a Pagani Waira made by a little Italian fellow, this guy, named Horatio Pagani. And uh, don't, I, as far as I know, he doesn't speak a, lick, speak a lick of English, but he makes some incredible cars. And this is, uh, there's two models. He's got a Pagani Zonda and a Pagani Waira. And this is the newer one, the Waira. And... Um, V12 twin turbo Mercedes engine does well over 200 miles an hour. Um, I mean, just beautiful interiors. You can see just incredible cars. I mean, just beauty inside and out. Just, just amazing vehicles. And obviously, I seriously doubt I would ever own one, but I can appreciate just how amazing they really are as, as vehicles. So, this is kind of how I view creation put it this way it's just this absolutely magnificent thing that god made through jesus you know according to the bible everything was created through jesus and so it's just this absolutely breathtaking thing that we see in creation so in this example let's just picture creation like this car if we can if we can break it down this way some people might get offended by this but i'm i'm that's not a, I'm doing the opposite here. So if we look at this way, so here's Jesus <laughs> and his creation, just incredible, right? Just look outside. It's amazing. And so in the Bible, we see all these examples of Jesus doing these amazing things, healing people, healing lepers, bringing people, you know, the dead back to life, um, turning water into wine and you name it so on and so forth and just goodness 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 and doing these incredible things right and in my mind it's like it's like him taking out the car doing record laps around the Nürburgring you know which is a very famous racetrack if you're not familiar just doing these amazing record laps sipping on a macchiato and just showing what the truth really is and what his power really is over his creation and over everything really and that was just to me just a little small snippet and how we're supposed to be like many jesus's we're supposed to be doing things like that and he was giving us the example and there's been countless cases since then since 2000 years ago of people doing exactly that through him and um and with God's power. And so it's just amazing. So I want to keep this really simple here. So here's Jesus, you know, in his creation showing what, uh, what, what you can really do with his creation. <clears throat> and so, and I picture this like Peter, how Peter, you know, jumped out of the boat and walked on water. And, you know, a lot of people focus on, oh, yeah, but he eventually sank. But yes, he walked on water. You know, and and so to me, it's picturing picturing like a six year old jumping in this 700 plus horsepower Pagani Waira and it's with Jesus at in the passenger seat. And, you know, Peter is, say, a six year old in the driver's seat and just, you know, his feet can barely touch the pedals and he can barely see over the steering wheel. But he's putting around in this parking lot and eventually hits the brakes too hard, comes to an abrupt stop, you know, just that jolt. And that's kind of how I picture, you know, Peter stepping out of the boat was just like, holy cow, I can actually drive this thing. This is amazing. Whoa, poosh, you know, splash. And so I picture all of us as little kids, whether you've you've been a Christian for, you know, 
not even yet or today or whether you've been a Christian for 50 years or whatever, you know, I picture all of us just as varying ages of kids, really. And I think that's kind of how God views us. I could be completely wrong, but I think that's kind of how uh, he really views us as, as his little children. And so, um, and so I picture us as little kids looking at God's creation, going, wow, this is, this thing is just amazing, which obviously it is. And, and then people having these ideas, well, look, you know, and in the mind of say a kid, especially younger kids looking at this amazing piece of machinery and try to explain this. If you're a little kid, try to explain, you know, CNC machines building these aluminum alloy wheels, you know, try to explain to a kid the carbon fiber weaves, you know, that build up this body or the titanium pieces or how the coil works, you know, to de deliver all these, you know, 40,000 volts of, you know, spark plug and, you know, you're just the displacement of the engine and how does a turbo work? And little kids can't understand that kind of stuff. And so I picture little kids going, well, I think the tires are made of solid rubber or some, if they're really young, maybe they'll go, you know what? I think the tires are filled with cotton candy. And you can picture what a little tiny kids would be saying, trying to describe this amazing piece of, you know, of work, of this artwork here. And so, but then you have another kid that comes along and goes, uh, it's, I, I got the owner's manual. It says right here that, uh, the tires are filled with 35 PSI and nitrogen. And the other kids are like, yeah, no, no, I'm going to stick with their, their cotton candy or their solid, solid rubber. Um, no, they're not. It says right here, I got the owner's manual. Um, and so this is kind of how I picture things. And so it, with tons of different things. So you could say, you know, say you got the general public or, or whoever saying, well, I think it took millions of years of evolution or billions of years to have this, this thing that we call creation that wasn't really created. It was just, uh, it just evolved over time. Um, well, it says right here, God made it in six days and rested on the seventh or, you know, so, uh, here's the owner's manual. <laughs> And so on and so forth. We could go through all kinds of things. And then with all this deal regarding earth and regarding where we really are, you have especially a lot of Christians, um, which is more than understandable, and I used to be one of them for sure, that would talk about different things about how the Bible says this. Uh, well, actually, no, it doesn't. I got it right here. And there's all these examples. So, you know, I just picture the Bible as the owner's manual, as the instruction manual of God's creation, if you can kind of think of it that way. And so we do have a lot of blueprints. We do have a lot of examples to go by that is the truth. It is absolute truth. Thy word is truth. And if I remember right, that's John 17, 17, if I remember right, could be wrong. So anyway, that's kind of how I picture all of this. And so just to keep things really, really simple, that's how I picture it. If this helps, great you know if this doesn't help if you're not a car person i think you might be able to follow along but anyway chad taylor signing out remember to like subscribe share and uh, we'll catch you tomorrow appreciate it guys